seven. Last time, weapon, or one of the many weapon enemies attacked Midgard. Given the location we're talking about here, why did we bother trying to stop it? Why did it attack Midgard? Shinra headquarters. Oh well. Anyways. Could try going back in the way we got in. Well, of course, we started the game in there. But got the key to that. Use that in what, several videos ago now to get Tifa's ultimate weapon. But that route won't work this time since we want to get to the headquarters building. No way up there again now, so at least not that way. So this time we gotta find a different way in. Using our airship. isn't it? Oh, well, it's not the slums we want. I mean, if that's all we wanted to do, we could just go in the main door, like I already mentioned. Again, I still, like I mentioned in the last video, I still want to know who's controlling Kate Zit, Kite Chi, however you want to pronounce that name. Don't start pronunciation arguments, please. Who's controlling that character now that Reeve has been busted? What, is he controlling it from, from his prison cell? I mean, what? Choose. No, I don't want to change party members. At least they give you the option here, unlike some of the earlier scenarios where they make you pick different party members. Of course, they did that a lot in the earlier games too, like Final Fantasy IV. One of the reasons I don't like Final Fantasy IV is half the time the party they make you use sucks rear. Like we're supposed to be afraid of him or something. I mean, really? I mean, I, you know, again, they really did a lot of work on that character in the remake, but obviously this isn't the remake. unless the remake comes out on Switch, I'll probably never be playing it anyways. So I'm not going to buy a Sony just for that game. I did that before with this game way back when. And as it turns out, this game and the first Metal Gear Solid game were the only two games I ever really played on the original PlayStation when I had one. 
could save my game, but nah. I just did that. What have I done since the last save file? Just gone through that cutscene sequence. Oh goody, this part. I remember this part can be a little mazy. Uh, what was the correct path? That I don't remember right on hand. Oh goody, this could be interesting. It's been a while since I played the game this far in. I think we go down up that elevator, elevator, ladder over there off in the distance. I think. Again, I'm not entirely sure. It's been a while since I've played the game this far in. How does that analogy go? So many games, so little time? Yeah. Now come October, as I just announced in the Nintendo Direct earlier today, of course, today being June 21st, the day of recording this video. And again, as always, I stress the day of recording this video. So if anybody is watching this a year or two later, they're like, huh? They didn't have no Nintendo Direct today. What are you talking about? Yeah. Well, they did earlier today as of recording this, June 21st, 23. New Metal Gear Solid collection. Definitely be buying that. Be playing those games a ton. So any other game, yeah. Won't be playing as much. The new Dragon Quest Monsters game. I've never played one of the Monsters side quest games, but might as well get it. I mean, it's a Dragon Quest game on a console that I do have. Unlike the other Dragon Quest Monsters games or Dragon Quest Builders that are always on like Sony or some system that I don't have. Oh, get down there. There you go. I really don't like the idea of buying a console for one game. I mean, did work that did work out too well on the original Sony PlayStation back in the late 90s. I mean, it kind of did for the Switch. I mean, let's be honest. Like I've said in other videos, I primarily bought my Switch just for the game you're now seeing in the background here. As soon as I heard this game, like I've said in other videos, as soon as I heard this game had been ported to the Switch, that was all the motivation I needed to buy one. Where's the oh. And there, between games actually made for it, remastered for it, and the numerous collections like the new upcoming Metal Gear 1 or the other, the two already existing Castlevania collections, between all that, no shortage of games to be played on it. So even though I primarily bought it for just one game, yeah. Definitely worth the money, unlike the original PS1. I mean, Breath of Fire 3 was okay, but at the time I didn't really didn't really get into it. I mean, if I were to play it again now, I might like it. But course now would require PC emulation to play that game. Which I don't mind obviously. I mean what do you think I'm doing right now as I speak? Just lately I've been trying to avoid that as much as possible with the only exception being these videos for my YouTube channel. Lately about the only time I ever use them later. Again that's why I'm so hyped up for the Metal Gear collection. Be able to play Metal Gear Solid and Solid 2 without emulators. Cool. Again, nothing against emulators. What do you think I'm using right now as I speak? Of course, 
the other reason I like that idea. Switch, portable, take it to work with me, play, play those games during work breaks. Cool. Okay, where are we? There we are. Okay. okay, I think this is the way we need to go, I think. Into the into the ventilation shaft, like like metal gear. Elixir can always use those. Too bad it's not a mega elixir. Health and MP for the entire party, but. Oh, these guys again. Okay, they're sl they got a different name, but it's the same graphics, right? As the enemy we fought back at the beginning of the game, our first first raid, so to speak, on Shinra headquarters. That I got, what was it, the carbon bangle from? A phone. Okay. Don't we already have a phone? Of course, that's you know, supposed to be a megaphone weapon for Kate Sith, or Tai Chi, however you want to pronounce that. I don't really give a crap. Of course, I still say, who uses a megaphone for a weapon? How does that even work unless you're knocking somebody up the upside the head with it? I mean, what are you going to do? Speak to it. Hey! Make them go deaf? I mean, what? Ah, shh! Okay, this is the way we want to go. All right. More than likely not going to need to worry about this, but as I've mentioned in other videos, I laugh inwardly every time I see somebody, oh, I don't need to save my game. And then by some for some reason, it's, you know, they end up dying somehow. And I'm the one sitting there watching their video or their Twitch stream thinking, huh, yeah, don't you wish you'd saved your game now? Yeah. Had to be the show off, didn't you? You're regretting that now, aren't you? Yeah. Why are we crawling? This looks tall. This looks big enough that we could just walk through normally. Oh goody! Back into the subway system. We were in the sub in a different part of it much earlier in the game as well. During that second reactor mission, back in what video one or two? Yeah. Only then, as I mentioned back then, going backwards was a waste of time. There was nothing back there. This time around, as I mentioned back then, it's a little different. At the far end of this, going backwards, there is a potentially useful item. So, before going forward, let's go back and get that item. At least I think I mentioned that in when I was in the, in that earlier video in the subway system like this one. I think I mentioned back then how later in the game I'd actually have to watch that first, find out exactly what video that was, and then watch it again. I mean, that was that was late last year that that was recorded, before the Christmas holiday season of last year. games that I'm even remotely interested in. Metal Gear Collection, which I'll definitely be getting. Dragon Quest Monsters, which I'll probably be getting, like I said, a Dragon Quest. I'll be at a Dragon Quest side game on a system that I have. So yeah, I'll probably be getting that just because of what, si what series it is. And that Mario game, whatever, I forget what it's called already. The one that they ended the direct with. Would be getting that one. 
and I will eventually, just not right away because of the timing of its release. Released, if I recall correctly, just a couple days before Metal Gear Solid Collection. Gee, Mario or Metal Gear, which one am I going to get? I'll give you a hint. Snake! Yeah. I mean, I like Mario games, don't get me wrong, but... Like I said, I will be getting that one eventually. Probably not until early next year, though. I forgot how many screens this entails. Sheesh. What? Again, it's been a while since I've played the game this far in. Even on my Switch, with as many other games as I play on that. I mean, I played it all the way through, you know, right away when I bought the Switch and this game, but haven't really played it all that much since then, with all the other games that I like on it. Between Breath of the Wild, Dragon Quest XI, the Castlevania collections, Dragon Quest 1, 2, and 3, don't really care too much for Dread. I mean, again, I hate to say that about a, about a traditional 2D Metroid game, but Dread, eh. Don't care for the gaming controls for the Pulse Cannon or whatever they call it, and the overly melt Emmys. And how no matter what, no matter how many energy tanks or what suit, theory, or gravity you have, they can one-shot kill you. Screw that. I mean, that's fine at the start of the game when you only have 100 hit points. But even late game, they can still kill you in one hit. My middle finger flies in the face of the developer who thought of that one. Sorry, but I'm not a fan of one hit kill. I mean, I know it adds strategy, blah, blah, blah. Fine, if that works for you, have fun. But I hate that crap. Die in one hit no matter how much health you have. Mm. Mm. Then they have, then they dare to have Emmys chase you underwater where you don't have a gravity suit yet. They can move fast underwater, but you cannot. Um, can we talk fairness issues here, game? Please? So yeah. Don't really care too much for Dread. Again, I, I hate to talk negative about a 2D Metroid game, but yeah. Dread, a game I dread the thought of playing again. One of the few games I have on Switch that I don't really care for. I mean, I bought it because it's a 2D Metroid game. Like, oh, cool. We haven't had one of those since Fusion. Two decades ago now. But the game sucks. Definitely not worth the wait. And I know, I know there's a lot of Metroid fans who love that game. To each their own, you know, you're right to your opinion. If you like the game, have fun playing it. Don't mind me, but... Yeah. There's many other games on the Switch I'd rather play than that one. Which brings me back to what I... You know, the only reason I even brought that game up in the first place. Games on the Switch and why I haven't played this one so often, all that often, even though it is the main reason I bought one in the first place. I mean, I love Breath of the Wild, don't get me wrong, but that game came out when the Switch itself did in March of 2017. 
it and it alone wasn't enough to make me want to buy a Switch. I mean, yeah, you know, it's a new Zelda game and all, but still. Wasn't until I heard that this game, yeah. Oh, hello there, Red. Bye, Red. I mean, yeah, the day I bought my Switch, I did, you know, buy a digital copy of this game. Breath of the Wild, Dragon Quest XI, and Super Mario Odyssey. What? I had my tax check. Lots of extra money to work with, okay? Plus, I had my... What? I think it was like sixteen, seventeen thousand dollar retirement fund from Publix, the job I used to work at in Florida for fifteen years. So I had a lot of extra money to throw away on me. Well, not really throw away, but you get the idea. There's the item I'm here for. Why is there a save point all the way, I guess, at court? In case, you know, you're not as highly leveled up as I am, and the trip down here was nearly fatal for you. I guess, you know, they have the save point down here where you can not only save your game, but use heal, but use tents if you have them. But anyways, yeah, use two items at once, like the W summons for summon, W magic, Potentially useful depending on your outlook on item use in battles, healing, or hero drinks if you have them. Why are you shooting your. Damn, I hate confusion in video and RPG games. I mean, with all due respect, how stupid do you have to be to take your weapon and shoot, aim it at yourself? I mean... Uh, let's see. Speaking of which, oh yeah, frick, I got plenty of them. Alright. So I got the W item, Materia. Now we go back to where we're supposed to be going story-wise, and the whole reason we're down here in the first place. And no, by the way, although I like 100%ing most games I play, this one, no. There's a lot of Materia locked behind mini games at the Gold Saucer, that are just too out of the way to get to. So no, I have no one, no intentions of 100%ing this game. That, and the fact that by now, I mean, I love this game, don't get me wrong, but I'm to the point where I just want to get this playthrough over so I can get on to the next game. So, I might not even do the forest stage for that, su that summon materia that's there or fight the other weapon enemies. Might, from this point on, just do the things you have to do to complete the game and call it a series. Maybe at some later point, that later this year, come back and do some of, some of the optional stuff. Again, as much as I love this game, second best game of all time, in my opinion, topped only by Ocarina of Time, as much as I love this game, I just want to get it over with and move on to the next one. For purpose of YouTube playthroughs. Next Final Fantasy game will be Part 5, my second favorite in that series. Of 
this, I also want to do a playthrough of Mystic Quest as a side game, and of Final Fantasy VI, for sure. But that ain't gonna be any time soon. off Dragon Quest V. Of course, the Game Boy Color remake of Part 1 that I started the other day. Then there's Dragon Quest 6, 7, and 8. So yeah, it's gonna be a while before I get to Final Fantasy V. To say nothing of Mystic Quest or 6. other direction. Was it the one I just passed up? Did I already go the wrong way? Let's see here. I don't remember where exactly it is, but I do vaguely recall it. To get to where we're actually supposed to be going, in one of those forks in the road, instead of taking the right path, you gotta go left, or west, if you're thinking compass direction. This one? No, there's nothing. No, okay, can't. That way is blocked off. Okay, well, did I already pass it up? Did I already go the wrong way? Ooh, that doesn't look good. Nobody touched that. <laughs> Okay, we're back to where we started from. There's the ladder. Ventilation duct shaft. Uh-oh. Who? What am I, an owl? Who? Who? Not you guys. Can we ever go anywhere without running into you guys? Seriously. I hope you're not thinking of biting us. I mean, we all have quadruple cut. And if that ain't enough, again, four words for you. Knights of the round. Again, I hope you're not thinking of biting us. Have it your way. Fine, let's do this. Come on, bring it on. Like dummies. Fine. Oh shoot, that's right, Sid's in my party from Dang it, when I chose earlier in this video, when I chose not to change party members, I forgot I had Sid in my active party because of the outer space rocket, because of that whole scenario. I was thinking I still had Tifa in my, damn it. What? Why are we letting them get away? Seriously. Why do we let them? Every time they challenge us, we fight them, and then we just let them run away like cowards. Why don't we go after them and finish them off? So that we'll never have to run into them again. 
Why do we always let them go? Okay, hopefully there's, well, of course there's another save point before the boss battle. Actually, there's, yeah, if I recall correctly, there's two boss battles in this sequence. The first one is relatively easy. The second one can be a little bit of an annoying nightmare. Okay, is this the path we gotta go? Yep. Actually, wait a minute. Wait a minute. I think going right leads back up to the Shinra headquarters tower. Where you can optionally go to get a couple more items that weren't there earlier in the game. I think you can get another elixir. Kate Sith's most powerful weapon is now available if you want to go all the way back there. Nah. Again, I have no intention of 100%ing this, so let's just go. What's up here? Oh, that's just up here. Is there a save point back here? Nope. Okay. Alright. If I remember correctly, take a few more steps this way, it's going to trigger the next boss battle sequence. Yep. I was right. What the heck is this thing? Oh goody, another giant robot in an RPG. Like that's never been done before. Oh, you two jokers, huh? Dude, you really think this thing could stand up against one of the weapons? Really? This piece of scrap metal? This hunk of junk? Come on. One, any one of the weapons would have this thing for breakfast, so to speak. And to prove that theory... saw the emerald weapon battle how many how many uses of this it took to finally finish that thing off of course I added a lot of that oh it's just my first couple of attempts ended in failure Bought it off screen, edited it out like three times before I finally defeated it. One, one blast of Knights of the Round and that thing is finished. Yet they think that that, that thing could stand up against weapon? <laughs> Are they delusional? One of the weapon enemies would destroy that thing. As we just did.
It was. Past tense. Was. Okay, now. Should be a save point somewhere around here. Just stretch ahead. Yeah, there's one. Thought so. Because the stretch ahead, if you have Barrett in your active three member party, at some point in the screens up ahead is where you get his ultimate weapon. If you have him in your party. Speaking of party members, sorry, Sid. There. The part, like I said earlier, the party I was thinking I still had when I said at the beginning of the video that I don't want to change party members. Completely forgetting that Sid was in the party because of this outer space scenario last time. Oh well. Problem taken care of. Uh. Eh, might as well. Is again the next boss battle. Get there theoretically be a bit annoying, so. Heal up and definitely save my game. And we'll end this here pick this up in the next video. As always, thanks for watching. See you next time. Bye.